Hey guys, so it is now October, it's autumn, there are billions of leaves everywhere that are all beautiful oranges and yellows and reds and that means that Halloween is so close now so I thought it was only right to kick off these like autumn Halloween videos with a Halloween tag. So I've got the questions on my phone, I just found them off the internet and there's 11 of them so let's begin. So the first one is what is your favourite Halloween movie? I'm not the biggest person to watch horror movies because I'm more of a fan of watching comedies. If I have the choice between watching a horror movie or a comedy, I'm obviously going to pick the comedy movie. So I don't really watch loads of horror movies, um, but I must say I do really like Coraline. I haven't watched that film in such a long time, and so I kind of feel like I need to kind of bring it back and re-watch it again so I can refresh my memories and Halloween's closer so it gives me kind of the opportunity to do it. I also really like the film Hocus Pocus. I haven't seen that in a while but I've seen that one more recently. I think I saw it like a good couple of months ago but that's a really good film. I can't think of any others because I'm really bad when it comes to like choosing your favourite films but yeah. <laughs> the next question is if you were in a horror movie how far would you get? When I do watch scary films, like the other day media, we watched this like kind of really freaky kind of short film while well, saying that it was about like half an hour long about this guy who just ended up killing his girlfriend and then hid her in the attic. She started to like open her eyes and stuff like that and then her friend came round and he was gonna kill her but then she left and then the police woman came round because apparently there'd been noises and in the end he stabbed her but she managed to shoot him just in time and then it kind of ended there and then the girlfriend was kind of like in the bar with her eyes open. It was kind of really weird. But do you know what? It was pretty tense and on edge. I don't like to say that I get scared easily when watching horror films because I know they're not real. But if I was in that position, I would be freaking out so bad. I think the first thing I would do would be to just hide in my room, lock everything, keep the lights on, and even have like my phone torch on just in case the lights randomly stop working um, and yeah, bring someone just to ask for help and yeah, and hopefully I'll survive. Number three is what is your favourite memory of Halloween? It's gotta be trick or treating and dressing up actually, I really enjoy the whole dressing up part of it and I did actually go trick or treating last year with my friend even though I was 16 but you just gotta do what you believe in. I mean, we, we literally went to like three houses because we were too scared because they probably thought, those girls look really old, what are they doing? But I can tell you when I was 15, I did actually do proper Halloween trick-or-treating and I did go to lots of houses and got loads of sweets. But trick-or-treating is something that I miss and I wish I was still young enough to do it just because you get all those sweets and it actually gives you something to do on Halloween. I know like lots of people like doing parties and stuff, but I'm not really into that stuff, so. Yeah, I wish I was still a trick or treating. But I do enjoy dressing up. That is something really fun. I love doing the whole like getting ready and choosing your outfit and the whole like makeup side. It's just so much fun. Number four is your best slash worst Halloween costume. Last year I did a cat and I actually really liked it. Um, and what I did, I also really liked my, I think this is my favorite one, my, um, did I do a, vam a vampire bride? one year and I had this like long black dress and I like kind of just let my hair it was kind of like all curly and wavy so it kind of looked a bit like dead <laughs> and um I did like you know red under my eyes and like blood dripping and I had these like proper little bangs that you could actually I have like this clay stuff inside and then you mold it to your teeth and they just stay on and they were wicked although I left them at my friend's house and then yeah I never picked them back up so they're gone which was really upsetting because I only got to use them once it cost me like five pounds, but yeah, that was for my favorite costume. My worst costume. I don't think I've ever had a worst costume. I think I'm gonna do my least effort costume. It was when I bought like a cat. I guess it was like a cat onesie, you could say. So it was like a one-piece kind of cat clothing that I bought from like Alstom or Sainsbury's or Tesco's, one of those shops. And that's pretty much all I did. And I probably did like some cat whiskers. And I was a cat. So that was probably my least ever one. I don't think I've had a worse Halloween costume that I can remember. Also a classic one is a witch. You know when you used to get those like witch hats that came with like long colourful hair? I used to use them. 
number five is how do you get into the Halloween spirit? I personally think it's when the autumn comes and you see all like the oranges come, you just instantly think it's Halloween. Pumpkins as well, really cool like orange lights and yeah, and when spiders start coming to your bedroom, you realize, yeah, they're coming to tell you it's Halloween. So yeah. Number six is your favorite Halloween decoration. Pumpkins, the best thing ever. I don't think I carved one last year. No, yeah, I'm sure I did. Um, yeah, I love carving pumpkins and I'm gonna definitely do one next year. But next year, this year, I'm definitely gonna do one this year. I really like the whole like design thing, just like getting in there and kind of, it's really hard work, I'll tell you that. And I don't like the smell of the pumpkin seeds. Ew. Number seven is name one unusual thing that you're afraid of. Um, I actually can't think of anything. Like, an unusual thing. Hmm. I've had to think about this question a lot. Like, I literally took like a 10 minute break just to try and think of something. And this thing probably makes me more sad, but I would say I'm scared of it as well. It's when I lose something so simple. If I, well this always used to have me in secondary school, I would lend someone a pen and then I'd forget to ask for it. And then I'd be really sad that I didn't have that pen anymore, even though it was just like a plain one that you could buy for like 20p. That would also happen if a pen would run out, I'd get really upset, just like a normal pen like that. The other day I got really sad because I lost my water bottle, I left it in my lesson and yeah, so things like that scare me. I just don't like losing things, even if it means they're a rubber or a piece of paper that I wanted to use. I just don't like stuff like that. That scares me, okay? That's all I can think of that's unusual. Finally, we are on number eight, which is vampires or zombies. I'm gonna say vampires because I have dressed up like a vampire a lot more than I have a zombie. I don't think I've ever dressed up like a zombie and zombies are slow and just like ooh. whereas vampires are quick and fast and you can fly and you can run super quickly and i think they're way cooler number nine werewolves or ghosts i like the fact that a ghost again can fly and you can go through walls and stuff like that then i think werewolves are pretty cool so i'm gonna go with werewolves because ghosts can be kind of similar to vampires they kind of have the same traits so let's go with werewolves number 10 is creepy dolls or creepy clowns i find them both creepy i think i prefer creepy dolls because creepy clowns are just scary straight off whereas creepy dolls i think i'd find them less scary than a creepy clown and number 11 is do you believe in ghosts straight up answer no i don't because if I start thinking that spooky stuff is real, then I'm gonna start scaring myself. I don't really think that they're real. <sighs> it's kind of hard because I sometimes think that there's something there, but I don't necessarily think that it's like, you know, a floating person or something like that. So yeah, I, I don't believe in them because if I do, then I'll just freak out about them when I go into dark rooms, which isn't really something you want, so. Yeah. There we have it, that is my Halloween tag. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you to all of you that subscribe. I am past the 650 subscribers and that is just amazing. <laughs> and I hit 100 subscribers at the beginning of the year and look where I'm now and I'm just so excited and I just can't stop talking right now, okay? Yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I am going to tag Beautystar14 because she's recently come back and she's one of my bestest YouTube friends and um, I think this will give you a nice video idea if you ever get stuck. I mean you don't have to do it if you don't want to. I also want to tag Livy because I haven't seen you do a video in ages and I missed your channel okay so if you're watching this then please do it. <laughs> and I'm also going to tag Amy Yasmin because I think you'll also enjoy this. Of course if you guys are watching this you don't want to do it then don't worry I don't mind okay. It's fine. I don't mind. Okay. <laughs> and that's all I have for this week. So I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye. When I saw my dear, I felt pressure. Don't want to see numbers. I want to see heaven. You said, could you write a song for me? 
I said I'm sorry I won't 